I gotta learn, I gotta learn, I gotta learn for you. You, you forgot something. Run it back and try it again. Impossible for you, but God, run it back. Ooh, do it again. Run it back and do it again. Maybe you made the whole business plan, but you forgot to add the ultimate planner. I, I, but, but God, that is when I found success. You are on the right path. Make sure God's at the top of your list. Hey friends, listen, it's beautiful today. It's 75 degrees. I know y'all can't feel it, but the wind, oh, I should have done this outside, but the way that the bees are set up around here, I, I, I don't, I don't have time for that. Um, but I got a word for y'all today. I got a word. I got a word. I got a word for y'all today. I got a word. I got a word. I got a word for y'all today. I got a, mm, I got a, ooh, I got a, <laughs> I don't even know. Today's word is run it back. Do it again. Run it back. Do it again. Run it back. Ooh, do it again. Run it back. Hey, do it again. Okay. Just ignore the background noise. Um, I live by an Air Force base, and every day at 5 o'clock, that'd be... Anyway, um, <laughs> so today's word stemmed from a verse that I came across in Matthew, Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. I'm reading from the NLT version of the note-taking Bible from Hosanna Revival. Um, in my version, it says, Jesus looked at them intently and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible, but with God, everything is possible. Jesus looked at them intently and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible, but but with God, everything is possible. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when I do my Bible studies, I prioritize that quiet time with God, right? Like, I, I can't read my Bible in the household with all these people around or in a, in a coffee shop where I hear all these outside noises. Like, I need to sit down and listen, right? I need to give myself this quiet space to be able to hear God. Um, and when I read this, baby... God was speaking. God was loud. God said, Chelsea, run it back. Do it again. I, I know you tried this before. I know you already went that route. I know you already gave it a chance, but try it again. God said, you did it already, but you did it without me. God said, you tried it already, but you tried it without me. God said, you had the right idea, but you forgot the main piece. God was like, do it again do it again because you're not always doing the wrong thing sometimes you're doing it with the wrong resources sometimes you're just forgetting the main part of the whole thing sometimes we're so quick to sit and write out the whole business plan like okay i need to get the setups i need to get the microphone i need to get the platform i need to get the profile pictures i need to have a photo shoot i need to have a team i need to have a business idea i need to have the and, and we go down this long list of all the things that we need in order to get the job done and we forget god at the very top of it we forget god altogether and then when it ends up not coming to pass when it ends up failing when it ends up not successful we think that we're in the wrong place and sometimes we are but sometimes we're exactly where we need to be we just forgot a vital necessity we forgot to add God to the top of that list what if you are in the right space what if you are capable of achieving that thing that you've tried before what if you just forgot to add God what if humanly speaking it's impossible maybe you're not strong enough to handle that without God maybe you're not capable of achieving that and be being successful in that industry in that field in that call without God. For me, I, I often found myself limiting what I believed God could do in my life and do for me based on what I felt like I had the capability of achieving on my own. And I think that a lot of us do that. We have to stop limiting God. It might not be possible for you. It might not be possible for a human being to accomplish, but God, but with God, baby, <laughs> that's what I wrote in my little note section. Look, but but God, I, I, but but God, that's our reason for everything nowadays. If you catch me and my friends all the time, we'd be like, uh -huh. but God, I, I mean, I hear what you're saying. I know what it looked like for you. I know what it looked like the first 10 times I gave it a go. I know what it looked like when I went to school for the first time, second time, third time. I know I didn't pass. I know I didn't make it. I know I started that business and it failed. I know it. That degree you tried to get, 
Try it again with God. That business you tried to start, try it again with God. That relationship you tried when you tried so hard to experience what real love was like, you forgot to add God in the middle of that. You forgot to add God in the mix at all. And God should be the top priority between the two parties involved in that relationship. You forgot to add God. Stop giving up on everything when you didn't even bring God into the mix the first time you tried it. That failed relationship that I had, that changed my entire narrative on what I thought love was, on what I hoped for love to be. Be, I did it without God. I know you hopped on out in the dating scene. You hopped on the dating apps and you tried to experience what real love was like, but you forgot God, baby. You were trying to do it all by yourself. You were trying to find all this godly, genuine, pure, authentic love in a worldly partner. You forgot to add God in the mix. You forgot to add God. It might not be possible for you, but everything is possible with God. Go back and try it again. Run it back. Start again. Try it again. Stop limiting what God can do based on what you feel like you can do. Stop limiting yourself. You can go so much farther when you give God control. You're trying to do it all by yourself. You, you, you forgot something. Run it back and try it again. I started my small business in 2018 and although attention wise, money wise, customer wise, all the things, it was very successful, way more successful than I ever envisioned it to be, um, especially running a business by myself. But something was missing and I was like I, I just feel like I can't achieve that level of fulfillment because I'm missing something and I don't know what that something is. God. That something is was God. <laughs> I had the business plan, I had the customer base, I had the web host, I had the website, I had the business ID, I had all my taxes paid for and ran up. I had it, but I was missing God. And then when I decided to quit the business, I told myself I don't want a business again because it didn't feel like the right fit for me. It felt like something was always going to be missing. Maybe like me, you were always in the right place. You were just forgetting the main piece of it all. Maybe you made the whole business plan, but you forgot to add the ultimate planner. Maybe you should run it back and start over again. Maybe you should add God to the top of your business plan and then, and then see, then see how it turns out. Maybe with you it was impossible, but baby, add God to the mix. Impossible for you, but God... Honestly, looking back at my life, there are so many things that I tried to do that I didn't feel like I was successful at, but I didn't have God anywhere near any of my plans. And it's so wild to me in the past year and a half as I've added God more and more and more into my life and I've gotten so much deeper in faith, how clear it was that so many of those things were really in the right direction for me. I was on the right track. I was on the right path. I was just missing the main piece of it all. And the second that I added God into the mix, and I don't mean added God into the mix as in oh I got my whole business plan and God's right there at the bottom no, no 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 when I gave God control over all of my business plans that is when I saw success that is when I found fulfillment in my calling that is when I found fulfillment in my business that is when I found success whoever this message is for you are on the right path make sure God's at the top of your list because without God it's impossible but when you add God baby you about to take off Whatever you planned out before and you stopped, plan it again. Whatever you stopped before, try it again. Start it again. Do it again. Run it back and do it again. That is the word that I had for you guys today. I hope someone was able to find value in that scripture the way that I was. And I will be back tomorrow with another word. Bye, friends.